Washington, President Joe Biden said Tuesday that codifying Roe v. Wade would be the first bill he sends to the next Congress if Democrats expand their majority in the Senate and maintain control of the House in next month's midterm elections. Together we'll restore the right to choose for every WOM. We can do this if we vote. Biden said he hopes to sign the bill by the 50th anniversary of the Roe decision, which was the precedent for nearly five decades before the Supreme Court in June ruled Americans no longer have a constitutional right to abortion. The Supreme Court issued its Roe decision on January 22, 1973, meaning Biden and Democrats in the next Congress would have to act fast to meet the goal. More, exclusive, concern about abortion explodes among Democrats, fueling a push to vote Biden's new pledge came in remarks from the Howard Theater in Washington as women standing behind the president held signs that read defend choice and restore Roe. It was a push to elevate the issue less than. Republicans are widely favored to regain control of the House and perhaps the Senate. Democratic candidates in several battleground states, recognizing public opinion is on their side on abortion access, have worked to make restoring abortion rights central to their races. But recent polling has shown abortion has taken a backseat among voters to growing fears about the economy and inflation. Right now, we're short a handful of votes, Biden said. To care about the right to choose then you've got to vote. That's why these midterm elections are so critical. Although Democrats hold control of the 50 to 50 Senate because of Vice President Kamala Harris' tie-breaking vote, they've lacked the votes to restore abortion rights nationally and overcome the Republican-led filibuster on the issue. The Senate voted 49 to 51 in May to defeat the Women's Health Protection Act of 2022, with Senator Joe Manchin, D.W. V. Joining all Senate Republicans in opposition. More, abortion rulings rapid impact, 66 clinics have stopped doing procedure in these 15 states Biden warned that Republicans will try to ban abortion nationally if they regain control Congress, pointing to recent legislation introduced by Senator Lindsey Graham, R.S. C. If Republicans get their way why? So let me be very clear. If such a bill were to pass the next several years, I will veto it. Since the Supreme Court's June Dobbs decision that overturned Roe, 16 states have enacted near-total abortion bans while several other Republican-led states have taken steps toward bans.